Hi friends, I am happy to meet you once again through the next video on now. In the last video, we saw something about parts of speech, the eight different types of parts of speech, namely noun, pronoun, verb, adverb, adjective, preposition, conjunction, and interjection. So, in this section, we are going to see noun. Noun is a naming word. It names a person, place, things, or ideas. This noun is categorized under five types, namely proper noun, common noun, collective noun, material noun, and abstract noun. A proper noun is a unique noun which is a name given to a specific person, place, or a thing. As in Kumar is a name of a person, Kanyakumari is a name of a place, and the Hindu is the name of a newspaper. It is a thing. So, this proper noun is always capitalized. Whenever, wherever this proper noun comes, the first letter is capitalized. So, it is an exception of the rule of capitalization. In a normal sentence, only the first letter of the sentence is capitalized. And there is another exception, uh, the letter I. Next is the common noun. Common noun is a name given in common to persons, animals, things, or places. As in teacher is a person, classroom is a place, and newspaper is a thing. These are common names given to some person, place, or thing. The next one is collective noun. Collective noun describes a group or collection of two or more persons, places, or ideas. Of these examples, the words panel, range, and fleet are examples of a collective noun. Material noun is a word which denotes a material or object that we can touch and see. So, material noun is a noun which appeals to two of the six senses of human being, the touch sense and the, the sight. The examples of material nouns are iron, gold, platinum, mud, sand. These are some categories of material noun which uh, comes under the raw material category. And uh, now we have tea, sugar, rice, milk, which are producers, and fan, ship, book, air cooler. These are the material which are produced out of the raw material. Abstract noun is name of quality, feeling, idea, which can't be seen but can only be felt. For example, air, fragrance, sweet, noise, this can never be seen, it can only be felt. And likewise, darkness, fear, freedom, death, these are the qualities which you can sense. Art, science, grammar, music, chemistry, these are the ideas which you can feel only. You can never see. These are abstracts which can never be visible to our common eyes. So, I hope that you understood something on the basic of uh, noun categories. And in the next video, let us see the divisions, other divisions of noun. Thank you. Until then, bye-bye. Don't forget to subscribe and click the bell button.